Hi there Earth Slimes, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I hope you are all doing great. This is MJ and this will be a general reading for you for the month of April 2021. Remember it may apply to any area of your life, so always use your judgment and your intuition to see how the messages apply to your specific situation. And always remember that time and energy are fluid, right? So those energies may already be in place for you, they may be moving towards you. And then they may stay with you beyond April and in May, depending on where you are on your journey, right? Uh, today we will look at an oracle card that will be an overall theme for you. And then we will dive into tarot to see what additional insight we can get. So without further ado, for the oracle, I chose Nature's Whispers for today. The cards were pre-shuffled, so just one more on the camera. And let's see what's in store for the collective of Earth Signs. Taurus Virgo Capricorn for April 2021. Nice. New experiences and possibilities. Let me read that for you because I want you to benefit from the whole message. New experiences and possibilities. Look around in nature. Notice new beginnings, new experiences and new choices being shown to you. They will only be evident to you if you take the time to look for these subtle messages. You are on the first steps along a new path. You are being offered a blank page. What are the first words you would like to write on it? Your possibilities are endless. You are in complete control of your life. This is a new beginning on your journey. Live in the present and trust in your own abilities. Plant your seeds and willingly venture into new territory. Whatever area of your life, new relationship, new job, new business opportunities, right? New creative ideas, new you. Perhaps you are, you know, redesigning yourself. Um, there's definitely a new beginning. If you are in the northern hemisphere, just as I am, there's definitely a new beginning with the spring finally coming in, right? Nature is waking up. So those signs of new are very tangible and very visible in nature as well, right? A new experiences, new possibilities, whatever that is, you are entering a new territory, which is very adventurous. So I would say be um, enthusiastic about it and don't be afraid of the unknown. So let's see what we can get from tarot cards for the earth signs in April 2021. We got the temperance. You know, the temperance card is, it is about patience and healing. Muse of materials that would be a king of coins in more traditional naming and maybe one more okay the nine of cups fell off but two additional cards flipped over they didn't fall but i'm i'm going to look at them as well and I will start with them because what flipped over and it didn't didn't fall out the deck, but they did flip over. We have five of voices that would be five of swords and the devil. Right. So the five of voices is a card of a conflict. OK, it, and it primarily is a conflict with yourself. It may be an internal conflict of thoughts right because voices these are swords and swords are primarily about our thoughts they may be about our words so it may also be a conflict with someone but let's start with the conflict with yourself you may have conflicting thoughts right but this is working against yourself you're like fighting with yourself right 
um, almost as if you're being your own enemy, advocating against yourself, the devil's advocate, right? And with those olives, it's like you're feeding that conflict with your thoughts. That's what I'm getting. So you may be in conflict about that new territory. I said, don't be afraid. It may be about being afraid. Because, you know, the devil, this is a toxic energy. And among its many meanings, it may be about the toxic people in your life. It may be a toxic relationship. It may be about addictions, right? Uh, abusing certain substances as well. It may be just a toxic environment. Uh, but devil is also about fear and toxic thought patterns, toxic thinking, right? And devil is also about being in captivity, being a slave of something. If it's being a slave of an addiction, right? It may be being a slave of someone, being stuck in a toxic relationship. But what I'm getting from these two cards it is being stuck in the toxic thinking patterns within your own head. And perhaps those thinking patterns are stemming from fear. You may be afraid of something and that leads you to that negative thinking. It will definitely not um, turn out good. Um, it will be a failure. I will not achieve success in whatever area, whether it's work, whether it's a relationship, right? So you're working against yourself because of fear. You're afraid of the unknown, afraid of those new territories, right? And so you're feeding yourself with those negative thoughts. And for this reason, you are stuck. You cannot move forward because you're stuck in that. I'm never going to achieve that success. I'm never going to be happy in a relationship, you know. In, take it as it resonates. You will know. If, if this is a message for you, you will know exactly what, what is it. So those cards didn't fall out of the deck, but they flipped. So some of you may be stuck. You may have certain new opportunities coming your way, perhaps work opportunities, career, and you may be afraid, I'm not good enough. So you will keep yourself stuck instead of moving forward, right? Now, temperance is very different to the devil card, which is that toxic, but also, uh, you know, this is being that slave. Temperance is about healing, and this is a very deep, deep healing process, um, almost on a soul level, right? It's about maintaining balance, keeping your mind, but also your emotions, your soul calm, right? Not stuck in those toxic thoughts that are rushing through your head, but being calm and gentle with yourself and through this remaining balanced. But this is also about taking things slow and patiently, right? You don't have to rush. If things are happening slowly, it doesn't mean that it's bad. Actually, in most cases, when things happen slower than than quicker it's a good thing right because they give us enough time to prepare ourselves and to adjust to that new situation right so with the temperance what i'm getting is you know keep your thoughts in balance keep your mind in balance be patient with yourself but as, as I said, it's also about healing. And this energy is very toxic, right? So there is definitely a need to heal yourself, return to balance, okay? You have what you need to achieve that, but it may take time. You see those moon, that, that moon here, it's about cycles, right? So if you're not able to return to balance overnight, don't give up because it will never happen overnight. Give yourself time. You may need the whole month. You see, with that moon, you may need the whole month to restore your balance. And if you need that time, give it yourself. Now, 
the music materials very quickly because we're we're already at 10 minutes um or the king of materials that is a person among others that is a person that is very well grounded they're stable right this is not stable that person is stable realistic they they're on the ground but they are also they that king sees opportunities everywhere and you have new experiences and possibilities so from this card i'm getting a very uh a very specific message look around and see how many opportunities you have okay if this is about this taking time to rest see that this is also an opportunity for you to restore balance and perhaps to um you know learn how to get yourself out of your own toxic thinking patterns you're on a way towards that new new world okay a new world full of new experiences and possibilities but you need to realize those possibilities and reach out for them and then the Knight of Emotions or the Nine of Cups, this is exactly about, see how balanced she is? It's like a meditative state, right? Balance and harmony. It may require time. Give yourself, if you need to, take the whole month of April to heal yourself from this toxicity that you have. Because if, if you will remain in this, you will lose those opportunities that are ahead of you. You will be stuck. This is balance and emotional satisfaction and happiness that is self-earned. You achieve that, right? Through your actions, through your diligent effort. So put effort towards it because it's worth it. But don't try to rush it and don't try to achieve that overnight. For some of you, it may be about, you know, take time to meditate, rest, hydrate yourself well. Because this is water, it's nine of cups, right? So... It may be about getting enough water. You know, it's it's actually it's very symbolic with that devil that is very fiery, right? And that, that water is like taming that fire. So I think for a lot of you, um meditation, meditative practices and that returning to a balanced state is really needed and give yourself time. Take things slow. There are new opportunities ahead of you. Don't be afraid of them. But you don't have to jump into them if you're a little afraid. Give yourself time so that you are balanced. Only when you are balanced you can make reasonable choices. Right? But see the opportunities that surround you with those two cards. Okay? I hope that you enjoyed. If you did... Please hit that like, subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you think and if the message resonated with you. And I hope that I will see you next time. And until then, please take care. Bye.